Hey guys, FIFA Vic here with episode 14, the penultimate episode of Stoke to Santos. We have our Brazilian silver team as discussed with a little Stoke twist. We've finally got him. Cameron Jerome up top, Robson, Robson and... Actually, that's probably a really old joke. Never mind. Um, yeah, he's up top and he is a monster. Got him for 40k. Uh, we've got Guy Prado on the right mid. He is um, very, very average in the stats, but he's BPL and Brazil, so he gets my a little link for Knightley, um, who necessarily doesn't need it. Uh, De Nielsen here, he's actually contracted to Arsenal, even now, I think, guys. Let me know in the comments. And Martinho on the left with his 92 pace. Um, you've got another bandit on the left forward with loads of pace, Gabrionetti. And uh, yeah, the back three and goalkeeper guys, I'll tell you straight away, is world class. Um, I think Canu's got like 80 pace, Zilao's got like 77. And uh, it just rocks. Rodney in the middle is just a monster. Um, so yeah, this is the team. This is the silver Stoke Brazil team we're gonna have a bash at the silver cup what you are watching guys is me just having a right good crack at the silver cup um get in the comments guys this is the penultimate episode of stoke to santos so get in the comments with what do you want me to do next um do you want me to do a manager career mode do you want me to do another rtg with a theme do you want me to do a pack and play um you know, where I open a pack to build the team as we go. Um, let me know. Let me know what you want to do. Good finish there from Gabronetta. Um, but yeah, so let me know what you want to do when Stoke Santos finishes. There will be episode 15 in Santos with Neymar next. And um, and that will be it, guys. We will be wrapping this up then. Um, I should explain what's going on. Um, you are watching me beat a guy in the Silver Cup. Um, had a bit of a do in this cup. You're going to see who I get against next. Um, I think this was a championship-based team. or No, it was an English Silvers um, team. But he's missing out on some cracking players he could have had. He's got some all right ones. Um, great volley from Knightley. Knightley sort of works at right forward, guys. Um, yeah, he just it just sort of works because he... Uh, He's not got loads of pace, but he has got good stats for a silver player. You know, he is a 74 rated silver, so he sort of does a good job in there. He's got good passing, good shooting, you know, he's all right in there. Um, but no sort of like amazing stats to speak of. Um, absolutely killing this guy. Knightley is having a field day on that back post. Absolutely rocking it. I think we get at least five in this. Um... Yeah, I think we get five in this, and we're absolutely rocking out. Actually, we get eight in this. <laughs> I've had to skip it along because so much goes on in this episode. But actually, I have a bit of trouble with BT. This is, I was when I was recording this, I suddenly started to have a bit of trouble with BT. Um, I have upgraded my BT to cabinet to cabinet, and um, where they do fiber optic to cabinet to cabinet. And uh, that has led me to a world of pain, guys. And I'll tell you why. Um, before you sign up for Fiber fiber to the Cabinet with BT, um, check and see how far you are from your cabinet. Because the way the new system works, it is wonderful if you're within 2,000 metres of your cabinet. You know the little BT boxes that you see on the roads? Um that is your, you know, your closest one of them is your cabinet. Um, if so, um, yes, make sure you're within two thousand meters before you order that, because my broadband was better before I was on cab fiber to cabinet than it, you know, than it is now. ADSL was a better option for me. Um, so we were beating a guy eight one and um, lost connection. So obviously EA he assumed that I'd rage quit. Um, and so we got knocked out of the cup then, I was then winning three, this might be this game, no, I don't know, and then I was winning a three nil, and um, my connection lost again, and um, so I got kicked out of the cup again, I was winning that, 
And, um, <laughs> and so we went back into the Silver Cup again. And this is where we are now, guys. This is a great strike from Denilson. He is capable of that. He did score a goal very similar to that for Arsenal. Um, really like him in this game. Like I don't ask much from my centre midfielders anyway. Um, all I want them to be good at is controlling the ball, passing, and you know a bit of running up and down. Really, um, we get up against this guy, and this is the quarter final. And um, we give this guy a good splatter in as well. Um, I'll just spoil it for you now. We we win this game as well. And uh, after this game, it means we've won like five games in a row. So we won five silver games in a row, but uh, we're only in the semis after this, which is a little bit frustrating. But um, there's nothing, nothing anyone can do. That is, you're playing on the internet, these things happen. Um, good header from Depredo. Now, Depredo is actually six foot two and really good in the air. Um, I don't really know why he's a right midfielder looking at his stats, but bear that in mind, he is fantastic in the air. Fantastic big fella. Um, yes, so we are now in the semi finals of the Silver Cup in this footage. I'm sorry that the footage is so crap, um, but I have to report it as it happens, you know, um, because. Obviously, you know, I can't just rock up and say, oh, look, this is me winning the Silver Cup. Um, what do you mean? I uh, played 60 matches on my RTG. Because, uh, obviously, I want to show you exactly what my record is, exactly why my record is what on this game. Um, so, we lose 2-1 in that absolutely killed him, but got knocked out in the semis. So, Santos, next episode, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye.